The following is an instructional video made by TRS for the Gemini Employer Portal. The focus of this video will be walking through the basics of the new employer reporting process for employers who will be submitting reports via file upload. To start a new report, you can click on the New Report button at the top of the reporting widget on the employer dashboard or select the New Report option from the Reporting menu accessible from any screen. After selecting New Report, you will be navigated to the File Upload screen. The top section of the screen contains the field used to upload a new file, while the bottom half contains a history of previously submitted files. Click into the Browse field and then navigate to and select the file you wish to upload. Once you have selected the appropriate file, Click the Upload button to the right to begin the upload process. This screen will track the progress of your file upload. Any and all reports within the file will have their data loaded into the system. If any report or the file itself is unable to be read, you will be notified and given a link to an error report. After the report is loaded, each member record will be run through the Edit Batch, a series of business validations to ensure the information in the record is valid and internally consistent while complying with TRS rules and procedures. Depending on the size of your file, this process can take some time. If you wish, you can sign out and return to your report later. This process will continue even if you sign out or close your browser window. Once this step is complete, you will be taken to the Upload Results screen. The Upload Results screen lists each report that was contained in the uploaded file. If your file contains more than one report, each report can be accessed individually from this screen as well as from the In Progress Report screen available from the main reporting drop-down menu. Using the Actions drop-down to the left of a listed report, you can view the initial error report which will show what errors were returned when it was first uploaded, or you can void the entire report to start over if needed. To open a report and continue the process, select the Details option to proceed to the Details and Adjustments screen. The Details and Adjustments screen is where the majority of the work on your report will be done. It lists every record within the report and shows what, if any, errors are attached to each record. The Actions drop-down to the left of each record can be used to edit a record, either a quick edit to change just those fields listed here in the table on this screen, or a full edit taking you to another screen where all the fields for the record will be available and information on resolving any errors will be more easily accessible. From the Actions drop-down, you can also delete a record from the report entirely or copy a record to use as a template for another record for the same member that needs added to the report. To edit any field listed in the table on the Details and Adjustments screen, select the Quick Edit option from the Actions drop-down to the left of the record you need to edit. Make any necessary changes. If you make an update to Earnings, all applicable contribution amounts will be automatically updated. Once you have made all necessary changes, you can click the Save button on the left where the Action drop-down was, or click the X button to cancel without saving your changes. Any time you make changes to a record and save them, that record and all other records for that same member within the report will be run back through the edit batch validations, meaning existing errors may go away if they were resolved by your changes, or new errors might pop up based on the changes entered. To edit any field not listed in the table, or to more easily engage with and resolve the errors attached to a record, Select the Edit Details option from the Actions drop-down to the left of the record. After selecting Edit Details, you will be taken to a separate screen. The Edit Details screen first lists all errors attached to the record at the top. Further information on each error can be seen by selecting a particular error from the table. Below the error table, each field within the record is available and separated into five collapsible sections. Demographics, Employment Information, Earnings and Contributions, Timekeeping, and Contact Information. Errors assigned to records can have one of three severity levels, Fatal, Warning, or Info. Fatal errors require something to be fixed before the record, and therefore the whole report, can be accepted and submitted. This record has a fatal error, so we have to fix something for it to go away. This member is reported with a job category of administrator, but their contract days are only 180 days. 
Either this member is being misreported as an administrator or their contract days are incorrect. In this instance, we'll say that the days are wrong, so we will update it to 261 days. After making the necessary change, click Save at the bottom of the screen to have the record run back through the edit batch validations and be returned to the Details and Adjustments screen. You'll see that our record no longer has an error. Warnings require either that something be changed to resolve the warning or for a user to certify that the information in the record pertaining to that warning is correct. This record has a warning because this member is a substitute, but they have a record with an extra duty payment reason. This is allowed but unexpected for a substitute, so the warning is there to make sure we double check that what is being reported is accurate. A change could be made to resolve the warning to either the employment type or payment reason if they are indeed incorrect, but instead we have determined that the reported information is accurate, so you can click the Certify button to remove the warning. Infos are, as the name implies, simply informational messages about the record often informing you that TRS will be updating some piece of information for the member based on what is reported in the record, such as their email address, last name, or mailing address. This example shows somebody has a different employment type than what they were last reported as. We know that this employee recently went from a part-time to a full-time position, so this informational message is not unexpected. All fatal errors will need resolved, and all warnings will need either resolved or certified in order to proceed and submit your report. Once you have made any necessary changes to records within your report, added any additional records as needed, and have resolved all fatal errors, and resolved or certified all warnings, you can click the Submit Details button to submit your detail records and proceed on to the total screen. The total screen lists the total earnings and contributions contained within your report, separated by regular records at the top and adjustments to previously reported records listed below that. The totals page also gives you the opportunity to report how much in earnings in this reporting period was paid via federally funded grants. To add an amount of federally funded earnings, click the Add Federally Funded Earnings button at the top right of that table. Select the fiscal year the earnings are for, followed by the grant type the earnings come from. Enter the earnings and the contribution amount will be automatically calculated. Click the Save button to finish adding the row. Add any additional rows as needed, or you can edit or remove an existing row by selecting the Edit or Delete option from the Actions drop-down to the left of the desired row. The Invoices table lists currently active invoices for your employer. The specifics of remitting payment on invoices will be covered in a separate video. The Account Balances table at the bottom of the Totals page lists all accounts for your employer related to contributions contained within your report and how the balance will be impacted by your current report. After reviewing your report totals, adding any necessary federally funded earnings, and selected for payment all needed invoices, you can click Save and proceed to payment to move on to the final step. At the top of the payment screen will be the same account balances table from the total screen, updated with the amount due for that account, after taking into consideration any credit balances you may have had on that account. The amount due is then broken down by what originated from the current report, plus what originated from invoices selected during the previous step. The total amount due is listed at the bottom of the page above the field where you can select which bank account you want to pay from. If needed, the payment can be split between multiple accounts by clicking the Split Payment button, then selecting another account and typing how much you want paid from each account. Once you have selected the appropriate account, Type in the amount to confirm before clicking the Process Payment button. You will be asked to confirm that the dollar amounts and accounts listed are correct, while also noting that THIS fund contributions will be drafted separately from all other amounts. Click Confirm to be taken to the confirmation screen and complete the process of submitting your report. Completed reports can be viewed later by accessing them from the Reporting History screen that can be found under the Reporting menu drop-down at the top left of any screen. After you have finished a report, it will go through a post-process before the information becomes final on a member's account. 
five business days after a report is posted, you will be notified that a packet for the report will now be available to view from the View Employer Packet screen available from the Reporting menu drop-down at the top left of any page. The packet will contain information on your report, including a final error report and a summary of changes TRS might have made to any records in the report before it posted. This has been an instructional video made by TRS for the Gemini Employer Portal. The focus of this video was walking through the basics of the new employer reporting process for employers who will be submitting their reports to TRS via file upload.